Hey everyone, Techni here. And what we're gonna be doing today is not necessarily reviewing a product, I guess kind of a review and then also an install and just kind of test and seeing you know what kind of results we get. But what we're gonna be doing is slapping in a new graphics card. The graphics card we're using is the MSI 5700 XT. Yeah, I have had this thing sitting here for a while, uh, recently doing a move and everything, so I couldn't really upgrade the PC and really test it out. So this thing is mighty dusty. But hey, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell because again, we're gonna be doing a few other tests with this graphics card right here we're gonna be slapping in this x570 steel legend motherboard here and then we're also gonna be installing an AMD Ryzen 3600 X right here so it's almost gonna be like a new PC build with all these components right here but again I just kind of wanted to start it off and slap it in what I had and see if we get any improvements kind of over the Vega 64 So it's just pretty much plug and play. My uh, 2600 right down there is not overclocked or anything. Again, all this stuff is just slapped in there and we're gonna test it out. All right, so we have some Battlefield 5 loaded up here right now and we are staying right in the hundreds, pretty much low hundreds, staying right there and the settings are on high. I didn't go in there and tweak all this other stuff or anything, just straight fire up the game, put it on high and get at it. And again, we're staying right around the uh, hundreds here, not really dropping below it a little bit. If anything, it might be the high 90s. But I mean, it is just spot on right here. I don't know where that came from. Oh, he's in that building over there. But again, we're staying right in the hundreds right here, which is pretty nice. And again, we're right at high settings. With my Vega 64, I used to stay around medium settings right there just to kind of make it crisp and just kind of run smooth. I'm over here talking, my guy revived me and I'm not even paying attention. But anyways, pretty solid here. All right, so we are now in the Division 2 here, and honestly, this game has always been very, very hard for me to run with the Vega 64 and the 2600 right there. Again, I just fired this up, and I left my settings the exact same that I used to use with the Vega 64, and I would never, pretty much never be able to push uh, over 100 or even at 100. I'd be around the 70s, 80s, if even, and it was a struggle to get there. But again, firing this up, leaving my settings the exact same, which a lot of them are around medium. Some of them are at high, but the majority of them are at medium. Again, just to be able to push it before. But anyways, I'm at 122 right now. We're in a pretty uh, populated area here right now. 107. And when I was actually in the load screen in the little hub area, I think I was like right around 150. So I'm going to try to get into a little pickle here. Let's see if we can find someone. How do I get out of here first? Anyway, still around 102 here. Oh, there we go. We dropped. We dropped. All right, we did a quick jump down to 90. Let's see, there we go, we got some guys here. Let's see what we can get. Get our drone going. All right, what are we at now? All right, so it's still dropping down to the 90s, 94. Oh, they're fighting each other over here. Okay, so we're still dropping down to the 90s, but we're also maintaining that hundreds and it's staying around the high 90s right there. Again, with the Vega 64 with the 2600, I couldn't even get to the 90s. Uh oh, this guy's coming at me. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay. But anyways, again, we could not even get close to this before, and it is butter smooth. Again, this is straight out the box plugged in. No overclocking, no tweaking anything, you know. I mean, I could go in here and adjust some of the uh, settings. That guy's shield wasn't even on it, but it wasn't registering the... Uh, But again, we can go in here and start adjusting all sorts of stuff and probably get some better results. You know, maybe dabble with some of that uh, auto overclocking or something like that and see what we can get. But right now, straight out the box, plug and play. Wow, I'm pretty excited and happy for these results we're seeing right here.
All right, so our last game we're gonna test here is Rainbow Six Siege. And this game's always ran pretty good for me. I always keep it on pretty much ultra and high across the board right there. And it's ran pretty stinking good. I never had any issues. Right now, uh, we're gonna do a terrorist hunt because the multiplayer right there is gonna be an absolute mess. I used to play the heck out of this game. It used to be fairly decent, not great, but I used to be able to at least go positive. Anyways, we're gonna stick with this uh, little hunt right here. Um, uh, anyways, we're around like 140, staying around 140, 150 right now. Let's get into some action and see if we can maintain that. So 120. There you go, someone's gonna come up right behind me. 130. Still staying at 130. So it seems like it was a little bit lower when we were outside. But then when we came inside, it's not all this foliage and everything. It, it's jumping up because we're staying around 140s, 130s right here. Alright, so as far as our test across all the games there, I feel like we got some fantastic results. Um, as far as temperatures, our peak temperature was 79, our average was 67 right there, and again, it never really got really loud or really, uh, you know, out of control. Yeah, it is warm, I'm just right down there by my feet, it's kind of like a little foot warmer, you know what I mean? But it never got out of control. I noticed the Vega got a little bit louder from time to time. The Vega was never extremely loud, like obnoxiously annoying or anything. Um, this one I do, it, it is a little bit quieter, honestly, but but uh, you do still feel that heat coming out of it right there. But again, it's nothing drastic. I never thought the Vega 64 was drastic like a lot of say. And again, I never undervolted or overclocked that. Neither was this. And I'm really excited to see if I'm getting these great results right now like this. I'm really excited to see what we can get with some overclocking. All right, so all in all right there, I think the results were fantastic. Even with the 2600 right there, we haven't even upgraded to the new process or anything. And I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Like a, just a great value, the performance there. And again, I'm running at 1440p on a 144 hertz monitor there, by the way. So if you're running just straight up 1080p, Wow, you're gonna get some fantastic results with this guy. So if you are looking for an upgrade of a graphics card or something, I, I highly recommend this one here. I mean, I love it. I think it's a great value. Again, maybe you get your processor later on down the road, but still, if you just on a budget or something, you want a great graphics card, get a cheaper processor, like we saw there, 4040p, we're getting fantastic results, you know what I mean? So again, I still think you're gonna do great with this with an older processor. But again, don't forget, we are gonna install the Ryzen 5 3600X here with our new motherboard and everything. Thing. So I'm really excited to see what kind of results we're going to get with that there. Because again, as we saw there with the older processor, still fantastic results. I'm excited to see what kind of results we'll get with this. Maybe we'll learn a little bit more about the car, be able to overclock it and kind of tweak it up and stuff like that. But again, if we're getting that right now, what are we going to get here? Subscribe and hit that bell and we're going to find out. But again, I highly appreciate you stopping by and watching this one. I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now. All right. And now for the build. Yes. Now for the... Wait a minute. That was not yet.